Here's what I've gotten done so far on my new bandsaw sawmill. You can notice I got the wheels on. <coughs> I've got the new bearing system on that I put on yesterday. Made pretty much from all scrap. The bearings and the bolts cost me more than anything, I think. I took the old steel off my old bandsaw. Got my pulley system on now. I can kind of show you how it works here. Let's see here. Like that. Thank you. And so, play. Oh. It's like a real sharp bit here. I'm just going to feed this on here. Everything's not squared up. All the way, all the distance into the bay is super smooth. So cool. 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 So this is an old 36 inch car jack that I cut down to about 12 inches but if you turn this you'll notice that it starts tightening up that blade. I don't know if you can see it moving or not. That blade is getting really tight right now. Now just with a few turns instead of it being bowled out you can see it stretched just real tight. So, and then my pulley situation, to pick it up, you see I've got these $2.99 Harbor Freight pulleys, one on each side on the bottom. The line starts here. This is an old crank that I got off an old lawnmower, believe it or not. But anyways, the cable goes down from here, back up, straight over to that one down to another pulley and then back up stops and these were the same Harbor Freight 4,000 pound rated pulleys but when I had the hook on here I had a bolt up here where the swell spot was but I, when I had it all together and put the, the weight on it these shifted like this they both turned inward from the weight and when you jacked it up or down it kind of jerked a little bit so I took that off and I, I welded the bolt straight to the steel here they put it all back together and then tack welded it right here on this side to keep it from moving. So it's pretty much stationary. But to make it go up and down, you just turn this jack. See, one way is down and it don't make it click. But you can see it's sort of going, it's going down. Or you can go the other way. Pretty neat little system and it. it works pretty smooth. Uh, so that's what I got going on now. So now I'm going to make the other bearing, which I've already got it the head put together here. So this here's the two bearings slide on this part. The other bearing slides on this part going this way. So these keep it going up and down, and then this will the back of the blade are right on the pulley that's here just like I've got that one so it's pretty much the same thing except turn the opposite direction that one side is and it fits right on there like that so it's going to be over here anyway so and then I got my Honda motor mounted on there I got the platform welded on there I use that same two inch quarter inch two inch square quarter inch steel got it mounted on there and the uh, pulley from the motor here goes straight down to the back side of the, the drive side of the drive wheel and, uh, so you know today I guess I'll get this other bearing on 
<clears throat> go get my black and my belt make it a little loose and I'm going to put a, a tension pulley on there that I can let off the tension to start the motor and then once it's started then I can let the, put the tension back on the belt to run the saw and then when I need to make changes or stop the blade and not stop the motor I can and I didn't want to spend the money for the clutch everywhere I've checked it's been way too expensive for a clutch to go on there so I don't have to do that so I just said screw that I just put a put on there and I'll show you how I do it I've done it on my other one I'll just do it on this one I just tack welded this on because I didn't feel like drilling holes through the steel so anyways that's my update and uh, pretty happy with every way everything's going I can say that if you ain't got some of these magnetic squares here they collect a lot of little bitty pieces of fiber from cutting this is just all metal fiber but you can take those on and stick them on there and get it all level it helps a lot but there's still a lot of human error in there and if, uh, I make a suggestion to spot weld and put it together and look at it make sure it's square before you weld it all up good because then it's a lot more work to get the thing or whatever's not square back off so you know I tell myself that but then I end up welding the whole damn thing on there sometimes pieces and then I've uh, been regret it like that screw up here I bought a big old bolt on the top to put those pulleys on it didn't work out so then I had to grind it off so anyways thank you and have a good day